Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are here for the first time, I'm Sei, a fellow Lamiki and Shining Nikki player, and I'm here to teach you little tips and tricks about the game, hopefully guide you through it, help you manage your diamonds, and just have some fun. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and of course, hit the bell notification button to not miss any of the future uploads. Before we start the video, I have a Discord server. I've had one for a long time, but I wasn't really active in it. So I want to try and revamp it. The link is going to be in the description down below. I want to do like little weekly competitions. It depends. Sometimes they're going to be Starry Corridor entries. Sometimes they're just going to be outfits. But as it's written here, the winner of every week is going to be featured in the hall of fame and they're going to be featured in my videos too so if you want to just chat a little bit and join these competitions make sure to also join my discord server like i said again link is in the description down below and we are having a new event yet again this one is one of my favorites and honestly I didn't expect it to come this soon, but I am really glad that it did. Now, this is a two versus two tiered event. The prices are going to be on the screen once we actually start breaking the event down. But for now, let's check the trailer and just how stunning both of these are. So this is the first suit. And I honestly love her. I love her pose. I love her backdrop accessory. Her makeup is stunning. Her floaty hair. Everything about her is just wow. And now we are taking a look at the second suit. And wow, is she my absolute favorite. I love, I love her so much. Like, I'm speechless. Her makeup, but most importantly, her backdrop accessory is going to be so useful in the corridor. Just look at it. Even her pose and two little kitties. So yeah, this is going to be most likely a recharge. I am going to skip this one. I don't quite like it all that much, but we are going to go into the gallery and break the event suits down. So let's go ahead and do that. Before we get into the gallery, let's just check out the HD pictures really quickly so we can see how it all looks nice and colored. So the cute little cats down here, the backdrop, the beautiful flowers, and of course the Nikki. I really, really like this. And here is a close-up and look at her eyes. Wow, so many colors inside. These are most likely the prettiest eyes in Love Nikki, like inside, I mean, like the pupils and stuff and the color. It doesn't look that good when you zoom out in the game because all these details are sadly not visible, but it's very pretty. I don't know why this cat has X's on her eyes like it's dead, <laughs> but it's cute nonetheless. And of course, more details. Here is the other suit. And again, she's beautiful, her eyes as well. I love the colors on her, they're just absolutely stunning. Let's go at the close-up, and really the eye, the eye art of this event is really beautiful. And see the, like, how do you call it? The lace, it's really beautiful. I'm pretty pumped about this event, so let's get into the gallery like right now and just see what the event has to offer. And we are here in the gallery. We can take a look at the very first suit. And honestly, wow, I love her. Her pose is stunning. I really love it. And the motorcycle too. And she's got these like beautiful little paper planes. So let's just go and see just what she has. So as you guys know, I always love these hairs that are floating in the air. They're so beautiful. They're so versatile. And yeah, the color is nothing too spectacular, but it is very gentle and I do like it quite a bit. The pose, I already said, is so stunning. And I don't think I personally have anything like this. So it's gonna be very useful in the corridor too. Like you can make her lean on a lot of things and it's gonna look super nice. So yeah, it works really well with the motorcycle, but I don't know how is it gonna look like in the competition with other items. We're gonna have to test that out once the suit comes to our server. But the paper planes are an accessory separate on its own, which is 
great they're pretty cute and of course this one now it's so beautiful i would love to have this in real life honestly so pretty and here is the makeup another one of those closed eyes makeups it's cute but it's nothing really that i personally need i'm probably never gonna put it on my nikki in the first place when i get it but yeah so let's go and check her normal pose and see how her outfit looks like her hair and the normal pose for some reason looks to be very long like it's not this long <laughs> in the posed version it's like floating in the air but it seems to be a lot shorter let me just check it out I don't know, maybe that's just me, but it kind of seems to be shorter. Yeah, it definitely seems shorter in the posed version. But yeah, so this is how it looks like unposed. Let's just see it here. We can see how far the hair stretches into the motorcycle, and the motorcycle is actually layered, so that is pretty nice. We can see that a part of Nikki is actually covered by the motorcycle, so that is going to be very, very useful in the corridor. Here is the coat. She's got a top and a bottom. This is very pretty. I do like it. The skirt is very nice. The flowers are super stunning. The heels are pretty unique, I'd say. We've already checked the planes. And this is the hat. I always say I don't care about these hats. The glasses, also don't really care. Earrings, the necklace or the scarf because this is the necklace the bracelets these are very pretty and she's got painted nails we can see that they're like a green or turquoise tur turquoise how do you say that word i don't know but yeah so i always like these accessories that paint the nails and what is this it's a belt i think yeah it is a belt it's across her skirt so yeah that is this suit i think she's very pretty and now let's move on to the other one okay now this is what i'm talking about look at this backdrop accessory wow it's so big it can be used just on its own and competition is going to be super cool but i am so excited to use this in the corridor like wow and also there are some kitties and her pose is beautiful i love her pose so much like she's sitting sort of on like almost on the floor and we don't exactly have these kinds of poses you know like majority of the sitting poses that we have are the most unversatile things that this game can offer but the sitting pose seems to be quite interesting this is the hair it is very very nothing special but it's nice, the braid is very cute. Here's the pose, as I already said, I really love it so much. If you tilt her a little bit, you can put her on the bed. It's really cool though. Like, I, I'm so excited to play around with this one. I'm definitely completing this event though, like I'm getting these suits. Here is the cat eating a watermelon. I don't know why I find this so hilarious, but I do. One thing I like is that it looks like an actual cat and it doesn't look way too animated. And here's the second one. I, it's so cute. I like it. I'm, usually, I don't really like these animals, but these cats seem very different. Here is a backdrop that we can't exactly see. It's probably a foreground item, though. So that item is barely visible here, but we can see it slightly. It's probably going to be more visible when you obtain it. But yes, yeah, so... Can I check this one out without pressing the arrow? Yep, I can. So this is gorgeous. I cannot express how beautiful this item is and I'm sure you guys are gonna agree because wow, the flowers, everything, like the floor, I just, if I have one little complaint, it's that this item could have been broken into two pieces. Like the ground could have been just the ground and maybe the flower could be like a head ornament and like the window at the back could be like a background i don't know that will make it a lot more versatile but either way it's such a beautiful item and i am so so excited to play around with it and here are her accessories the earrings and of course the makeup but let's go ahead and check out her in the normal pose she's not that much different to be honest she's just wearing a kimono but i really love these colors I think they're beautiful, they blend in pretty well, and they work really nicely. And this is the coat. Again, it reminds me like of a granny coat, like something that granny knits for you, but it's cute. And I think this is a leglet item, we can see above or on her ankle, and of course the little shoes. Her nails are again painted, but this time it's sadly connected to the shoes, so you cannot wear the um, 
polish separately from them, so that's a little sad. We have checked the backdrops, but I keep doing this. Oh my gosh, but here it is. Uh, the backdrop is a little bit more visible now that she's not sitting on it. We can see it in its beautiful glory. But moving on, the fan that she's holding, of course. And this is a, probably on her back, though I can't really see it. It's probably like a tail item or something, but it's really not visible. And I think this is a brooch, it's on her chest. Uh, we have checked these items and of course the stunning makeup. So regarding of whether I think this event is worth it or not, I personally think that it is. It's pretty unique and I love all of these accessories. The backdrops are one of a kind. They are unique but they're also versatile and that's a pretty cool combo. And they're not even like that expensive for the two suits so I really 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 like that. But you guys want to keep in mind that Miku's birthday is coming pretty soon. It's I think at the end of August, like 31st or something. So we might just get a Miku collab 2.0 <laughs> in a few weeks, so maybe if you're low on diamonds, there is a possibility that you're gonna get that collab and collabs don't return. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or future video idea suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. See you in the next video.